Now to an I team report about gas pump ripoffs. Now the good news is these days a lot of gasoline around Houston is less than three bucks a gallon. The bad news is you may be getting ripped off no matter how much you pay. Tonight's Scott Knoll looks at where people are getting cheated at the pump and how you can avoid it. Houston, Energy City, four million people united in driving. Our motto, in unleaded we trust. That's pretty important that we get our gas at the right amount and everything and not being shorted or anything. Just one problem. Sir, you have to stop filming, sir. We found plenty of gas stations cheating you. Not all terrestrial talk, sir. In short. You think you're getting what you pay for, but apparently not, right? Right. Because the I team discovered nearly one in three gas station inspections in our region ended with a failing grade totaling nearly 1,700 different gas stations across our area. And that's going to make me think twice going to the gas station now, man. Take Barry Food Store on Barry Road. Its pumps failed the test not once, not twice, but three different times. In one case, a pump charged $1.28 before delivering a single drop of gas, according to state inspectors. Inside, a worker claims... Well, after that, we got fix, somebody come and fix it here. They came and fixed it? Yeah. How did it get that far out of whack in the first place? I don't know. It's a machine, maybe. At this Phillips 66 station at Bel Air and Winkleman, inspectors found multiple pumps charging customers for more gas than they actually got. It cost the owner a $100 fine. People are going to say, come on, you're ripping customers off here. No, we don't do it at all. We're doing really good business here. We don't rip off anybody in the world. That's what they've logged here. Yes, whenever this happened, we shut off the pump and we fix it right same day. And those are just the problems state inspectors actually find. Because in Texas, gas stations can be inspected as little as once every four years. Stations with a history of problems or complaints can get more frequent visits from pump police. State Inspector Krishan Adair checks everything from the hoses to the prices to whether a gallon is really a gallon. Well, we always want to know what we pay for, right? And nobody knows that like David Krieger. Or something like this makes me really mad. He pulled into the star stop on Pinemont for a fill-up. The pump showed he got 13 gallons, but... Have you ever seen anything like this? No, never. When Krieger started his car, his tank still showed empty. I got no gas. I mean, he probably could have got me for a gallon or two, and I might not have noticed it. But, no, the whole tank? Krieger reported it to the state. Inspectors came out and shut down every pump. People will say, look, these guys were cheating customers. I mean, uh, as far as uh, I know, uh, I never seen uh, these pumps are computerized, like you know, and nothing is uh, going on as uh, cheating wise. But Krieger's not taking any chances. I don't like people to steal from me. While his credit card company refunded his money, this salesman has a simple solution for dealing with cheating gas stations. It's the old saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, and I'm not going to go back there. No. The state says it's tough to know if a gas station is intentionally ripping off customers or if pump problems are simply due to poor maintenance. Either way, once they shut down a pump, the gas station has to fix it and be able to prove they fixed it before it can be used again. Finally, if you suspect you're being taken advantage of, look for this sticker on the gas pump. It has an 800 number where you can report the problem or you can use a link we've provided at our website to file a complaint. Just look for this story at KHOU.com. I'm Scott Knoll, KHOU 11 News.